everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Crafty. Mama Z is here. We are back with our original Gingerbread Man cookie decoration character transformation video. And let me tell you, this character has been highly requested. After I posted Sonic's Gingerbread Man cookie transformation, I got tons of comments of y'all asking me to transform Gingerbread Man cookie into Tails. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I even met my nail color today to go with the color theme. For this transformation we will need the following ingredients. Lots of fondant, white frosting and gel colors and actually I'm not gonna need many colors today. I custom made this golden yellow color and then I have some white. I also have black, blue and red sparkle gels, baking tools, edible markers as well as variety of candies for decoration. Pictures of miles tails for inspiration here is my giant gingerbread man cookie tray and i won't get tired from repeating the same phrase over and over again do not forget to protect your working space since this activity will get sticky and messy step one let's go ahead and remove our cookie and i'm going to do it super fast because you know sonic <laughs> <laughs> so we will need to use lots of fondant as you see because well tails has two tails face ears then we have some hair spikes right there Usually I start with the feet but I decided to go ahead add some details like tail whiskers and ears right away and I'm gonna be using fondant obviously it will give us a good base and then after that I can go ahead and paint everything with frosting and gel colors roll the fondant I'm not going to make it too thin taking my baking knife next and cutting out the shape of two tails next ears and whiskers next let's go ahead and place everything next to a cookie we'll start with tails next ears i think i'm going to add his hair strands a little later but i'm just gonna put one right there because it looks perfect and his little uh, mustache slash whiskers looking good and i'm gonna go ahead and add a few of his little uh, hair strands there we go. Next step would be his shoes. I'm gonna use this red gel as well as white frosting for his sneakers. Let's spread the gel nice and smooth. I like working with these sparkle gels because they give the surface more of an even coat and also they're sparkly so I love it. <laughs> Next I'm going to paint the top of the shoe with white frosting. The bottom I'm going to paint with black sparkle gel. I want to add these silver star candies to the bottom of his sneakers. Okay, next step I'm going to paint his body as well as his head with this golden yellow frosting. Oh wait, almost forgot. His tail and his ears also. <laughs> All right, so I think the color is perfect. Now we are going to spread all the frosting around. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and add more white to the tips of his tails as well as his gloves and what else? Oh, and his uh, belly. Okay. 
And next we are going to do some blending work. But I have to be very careful because the coat under is still wet. And if I mix it too much, then we are going to get like a um, yellowy tone on top. His belly is pure white, so I gotta make sure the white stays white. Next, I'm taking the sharper side of this tool and doing a little streaks to make it look like his fur. Next, I am gonna go ahead and add a blue stripe right there. Some images that I found online, this stripe is gray and the movie images is blue. Next, I'm going to use these eyeball candies, the other side, and place them right here to divide his glove with his fur. And here's something funny, in the toy version, we have it opposite. So blue on the bottom and then gray right here. Now on this picture we have gray here and here. In the movie version we can't even see anything on the bottom, but we do have blue right there. You can actually see it better right there. So you know what, I'm gonna do the following thing. I'm going to add blue. After I'm going to add white candies. And in between, I'm going to add some silver snowflakes. Looking good. Let's go ahead and put the cookie aside and add his eyes made out of fondant. Let's see if his eyes are going to fit well. Next, I'm just taking my little knife and smoothing the edges and getting rid of some extra fondant that we don't need. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of white in the middle and add his a black nose and this black skull candy is a perfect fit. Next, I'm thinking between either using black sparkle gel or black edible marker for his smile. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use black edible marker. Let's add his big blue eyes next. Carefully adding black in the middle. And I'll add this white snowflake as the light reflection. Something is missing. I think that something is the lash line. So I'm going to use my black edible marker and carefully add lash line just to define his eyes. I am considering giving him a wider smile. And we cannot forget about his little hair strands right there. I'm going to add just a little bit of black right here in the center of his ear just so I can add a little bit of shadow and make his ears look a little bit more realistic. Taking my little tool and spreading and kind of mixing these two colors together. I know if you're looking at the cartoon or game version he doesn't have black in his ears, but if we are looking at the movie version, we definitely see more black and gray inside of his ears. This way it creates more depth and looks more realistic. And Miles, who is also known as Tails, is officially transformed into a giant gingerbread man cookie. Oh, wait a minute. Gingerbread man cookie is transformed into Tails. And now we have Sonic and Tails giant gingerbread man cookies. Click the like button if you like this combo cookie transformation. And also let me know in the comments below which character shall I transform into gingerbread man cookie next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!